My hand is getting so hot. That's better. Got my handle. Five ways to make handles. Pulling handles. Use an extruder. Use a slab. Use a coil. Use a tool to cut the clay. What's up guys? I'm John the Potter and on this channel we explore what's possible with clay. Today we are talking about handles. Handles are so nice for many reasons. Probably the most functional reason is so that you don't burn your hands when you have really hot beverages in here. Ah, it's so hot! There's many reasons why you love a handle. Handles provide a nice anchor if you want to hold your coffee like this. Provides an interesting aesthetic as well. There's a reason why people love coffee mugs. And you gotta think it's the handle, because without a handle, it's just a cup. There are tons of different ways to make handles. I'm just gonna go through a few of them. Probably the best way for everyone to learn is to pull handles. That's how I learned was to pull handles, but now I extrude all my handles, which I'll show you how to do as well. Comment below and tell me how you make your handles, uh, and I'll show you how a few different ways that I know how to make them. Let's do it! First way to make a handle, pulling handles. To pull handles, you gotta start with a piece of clay and a bucket of water. And yes, I cut my thumb, which is why I have a bandage on it. So for this, make sure you have a well wedged piece of clay and I'm just gonna form it into just something that resembles a thick thick handle so now what you do to pull the handle is you take your hand dip it in water you can take the clay and dip it in the water a little bit and you just kind of go around and you pretend that you're milking a cow <laughs> not really actually but just make sure you use that water and you just apply consistent even pressure all the way around and just focus on bringing that clay towards the end. So I like to just keep rotating it so that I don't get one side that's thicker than the other. And once you get better and more consistent at that, then it becomes really quick and easy. And then a lot of times you'll find that you get a lot of weight down here at the bottom. And so after you get the handle pretty much good, then I like to just pinch off that bottom. And then you can pinch off up here too. And there's the handle. And obviously that looked pretty quick and easy. And it just takes some time to get really good. And then you can go on to your next one. So just squeeze that clay from the top. Make sure you have a nice wet piece of clay and that your hands stay pretty wet. Just keep rotating it. If you don't rotate it, then you'll tend to like get a fatter part on one side. But if you rotate it, then it shouldn't be a problem. There we go, there's another handle, boom. Second way to make a handle. Use an extruder to make handles that you need an extruder for. You obviously need an extruder, which these things aren't cheap, but they're super nice, and this is how I do all my handles. So you gotta start with a big piece of clay that you stick right in there, and then you gotta have molds, and you just use this thing as leverage to push that clay out. Super nice and efficient. Some people think it's a little less, how would you say, artsy, or it's like cheating. Like when I was in college, they didn't actually let us use the extruder, they made us pull handles, but uh, now that I can do whatever I want, I like using an extruder. So this is the handle mold that we push the clay through, so that's what the handles look like. So we'll just take this, we got this plunger all the way up so we can just stick a bunch of clay in there. Clay. Stick this clay up there. Then we'll take this, got her on there, and then we just tighten this down. And then we take this thing, and we just move it so that we're actually pushing that clay right through there. So I should see 
There's the handle. There we go. And then we just lay that out and cut it into pieces and form it into a handle. Third way to make a handle, use a slab. First we gotta make our slab. So I just start with a ball of clay and I'll just quick throw out a slab. You can just cut whatever shape handle you want. So if we just want a pretty straightforward handle, then we would just cut like this. And then obviously since you cut it, it's got pretty sharp edges right now. So then just take a sponge and just kind of wipe those edges so that it's not like a super sharp edge. And then form it into a handle. So the fun thing about this is you can literally do anything you want, like that shape of handle is kind of stupid. Let's try like a little bit thinner one. Like that. Or if you wanted to create like, this is where you can get creative using slabs for handles, is what if we created two and then we just twist them together. That'd be kind of a cool handle. Fourth way to make a handle, use a coil. First we'll just roll out a coil. I can also get this shape with my extruder too, which is totally what I would do. But if you don't have an extruder, then you don't need one. So then I would just cut and make that into a handle. That'd be a good handle. And you can do the same thing with this one too, where you make two different ones and take these and spiral them together to make a super cool, interesting handle. Probably wouldn't use it on a mug, but I'd maybe use it like on the ends of platters or some kind of like decorative piece. Fifth way to make a f handle, use a tool to cut the clay. And I don't ever do this, but I know another potter that does this. This is how he makes all his handles. I'll show you how to do it and you can experiment with it and try it out. We got our big piece of clay. And then we got a tool and they make tools that are more designed for handles, but I'm just gonna use this part right here. So you can experiment with different shapes and then you would just actually cut out a chunk like that. And then just form that into a handle. And then I would obviously take a sponge and make that part a little smoother. So that's probably not, that's definitely not my favorite way. And I've only done this a few times, but but yeah, if you experiment with different shape tools, then you can have different shape handles. There we go. So I would go through and make that a little smoother, take my sponge and make that so it's not quite so rough. So obviously there are a ton of different ways that you can make handles, and each of their potters has their own preference. My preference is to use an extruder because it's fast, it's consistent. Many potters would say that pulling the handles is the best way because then you get a lot of weight up on the top of the handle and then it kind of gets thinned out at the bottom, which technically would probably be the most functional and the most durable and also maybe would feel the best in your hand. So then how you put the handle on the mug is pretty much the same no matter what method you use. So I'll just show you how we put some of those handles on and you just use the same method. Here we go. To put the handles on, I always score on the mug where I'm gonna put the handle. And then I also score the handle as well. So scoring is just scratching it up and that basically is just gonna make it so that those two things just get locked in together. I also always use slip on my handles too, which is just really, really liquefied clay. So whenever you're joining clay, it makes sense to just use a little slip to join it. Anytime you're joining two different pieces of clay that aren't the exact same consistency. So then on, what I do is just take this, stick that on the top, stick that part on the bottom, and then I just join with my fingers. Just like that and you got a perfectly good handle. So there you go, there's five different ways to make handles.
pull a handle, extrude a handle, make a coiled handle, make a handle out of a slab, and cut a handle out of a piece of clay with a tool. Now I just actually have to put all these handles on all these mugs. Comment below and tell me what kind of handles you prefer, what you use, and why. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button for more pottery videos like this. And we will see you in the next video.